in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this hologram effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drewal here back with another video. Now as you can see this is the final output. But before we start the actual tutorial about the hologram, uh, I just wanted to speed run through how I created the background and how I removed the background from the subject. It's not part of the tutorial, but I thought it would be useful if I just show the process. I started by placing a grass image on an empty canvas and then added a sky to it using masking. What kind of sky is not that important because I was gonna make everything dark anyway. Uh, that's the thing with hologram effects. Uh, if you look at all of these examples, you can see that everyone uses kind of a dark background because it allows uh, holograms and all the glow effects to stand out properly. It doesn't look that good in daytime. So to make it dark, I used hue saturation and curves. Uh, and later I also used a soft white brush uh, to create some kind of fog, which allowed me to do two things. One, blend both of the images a little bit better. And also it just looks nice. Plus I did some color correction to give it blue tones. It has more night vibe, nothing crazy about it. So background was done and then I was ready to add the character. Nothing special, just wanted clear side profile of someone looking up. So I found this photo that I can match it against the hologram. To mask the image, at first I used quick selection tool, but it wasn't perfect. So I also used magnetic lasso tool to take care of the problematic parts. And that's pretty much it. It was pretty simple image to mask. Also, I wanted to show this uh, simple trick that I use a lot of time to blend subjects in the grass. So for that, uh, I'm gonna apply this layer mask first and to do that, I wanna rasterize it. I need to rasterize it. So right click here uh, and then rasterize the layer. So now when I select the mask and right click, I can apply the layer mask. So the mask is gone and we only have the model. Then I will apply mask once more and then you go to your brush tool and in the brush there should be this grass brush. If you can't find it, go to this gear icon and then select uh, legacy brushes and you should have uh, this legacy brushes here. You scroll down and there should be a grass brush, two of them actually at the bottom, right? So I'm going to go and select the uh, this one. I guess, or this one, doesn't matter. They're both very similar. Uh, and then you go to this option here, this one, and turn off transfer and color dynamics uh, and close it. Now I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller and change the color to black because I wanna erase something, right? So it kind of looks like he's sitting in the grass. And then you can just go and start painting. Let me zoom in a bit more so you can see what's going on, see? So now because it's erasing portion of his body, it looks like he's sitting in the grass. So just use black color and paint in the mask using this brush and you can easily make it look like this. Now let's add the Instagram screenshot. So file, place, uh, and here's the screenshot, place it. To get it uh, black like this, all you have to do is turn on the dark mode in your Instagram profile and then you can uh, have this interface. So now to make it look like that it's actually in perspective, you have different options. So you can right click and you can select uh, perspective. Uh, another thing that I like to do is just, um, let's start with the perspective actually, you know what? Uh, make it a little bit like this and a little bit like this. And then I like to play around, uh, actually, let's make it a bit smaller. And then I like to play around with the corner. So what I will do is I will hold control, alt and shift. And that allows me to manipulate it manually like this without constantly going into perspective. Not only that, but I can also just hold my control key and make it uh, like a bit more distorted like this. So take your time and make it look as nice as you can. The screenshot is set up. Now let's uh, work on the shadows and lighting on the model. So first of all, take this model layer and create a layer under it. So now let's name it cast shadow. 
uh, take your brush tool and make the opacity like what 40 50 percent or maybe even less and make sure you have black color here and start painting some shadows with a really soft brush Uh, and then uh, look at this model right I have selected the layer I'm gonna create new adjustment and then select hue saturation and create a clipping mask and then I'll make it dark like this then what I will do is I will use my brush tool with full opacity uh, with black color and soft <coughs> like a hot edge uh, and then I will just remove it from the front like this Not only that, but I like to manually paint my shadows. So create another blank layer and name it like <coughs> shadows. Uh, right click, create clipping mask. So now whatever I paint, it will stay here, right? But it's too strong. So change the opacity to like something like 19 or 20. And then start uh, making this portions a bit darker. So he blends in better with the surface and everything. Looks pretty good. Now let's uh, finally finish the hologram. So for that, because it's on a black background, I can just go and change the blend mode to screen. And suddenly now it has this transparent feeling, but it doesn't look like a hologram. Uh, to fix that, first of all, I'm gonna make a copy of this. So first of all, let's name it uh, screen because we will make a lot of copies. So it helps to name the layer. Now I'm gonna make a copy of it. So control J, so we have a copy. And this one, it will still stay screen, but I will apply a layer style on it. So you can double click on the layer and here select inner glow. So when you apply inner glow, uh, let me increase the size so you can see what we see. Now it gives it kind of a feeling that there's some highlights coming from the edge and gives it a bit more definition, looks nice. And then hit okay. Now I'm gonna make a copy of this. So control J and I will rename this one to blur one. So now uh, we don't need this inner glow. So I'm gonna go and just delete that. Just drag it in the bin, you can delete it. And then I go to filter, blur, and I apply Gaussian blur. So first I'm gonna apply something like 100 pixels and then hit okay. Then I'm gonna make a copy of it. So I'm gonna again, control J, but this time I'm gonna change the blur value. If it's a smart object, you can directly add it from here or you will have to apply again. So I'm just gonna double click and then make it 400. So it's like really bright, maybe even more. So like 450, so not bright, but like a large. So it gives it kind of like this environmental glow. Now let's make a blank layer. So create a new blank layer and rename it transparent or something like that. So. I want this area to fill with white color. So I'm gonna hold my control key and then click on this original screen layer, do you see? So this layer is active, but I hold my control key and I will click here. So it will make selection of this. Again, this layer is active, this transparent, the blank one we made. Then you go here uh, and select your paint bucket tool and then you fill it with white color. So fill it. Control D to remove the selection. And then you change this blend mode to soft light or overlay, depending what works for your screenshot. So I'm gonna change it to soft light. And then I will reduce the opacity to zero. And then I will start coming back up. So like 10, 20, 30, and I will see until which point it actually looks nice. So 20% looks quite good. Now we make one last copy. So again, do you see this your original screen layer? Make a copy of that. Control J, right? And you take this and you put this all the way on the top. So when I zoom in, you can see that it gives it a little bit more definition and makes it less blurry and more like a glow of light. But it depends, if you don't like it, don't use it. 
Now let's add some environment lights. So for that again, create new blank layer uh, and select a color. So I recommend just pick up a color, something like this from your uh, hologram. So this kind of dull yellow color looks good. Hit okay. And before you start painting, you can also just change the blend mode of this layer to overlay and get your brush tool, make the 100% opacity and just start painting right here like this. So you can make it look like um, the light is coming from the hologram. Everything is ready. Now let's apply camera rock correction. For that, I will create a new blank layer uh, and name it camera raw and then press control alt shift E all of this together. So now we have a screenshot. Then right click on your layer and select convert to smart object. Then finally go to filter and camera raw filter. looks good confirm it now one problem with this is that the skin looks a bit too yellow because of all the saturation and we can easily fix it so create new adjustment layer and go to your uh, hue saturation and here in the masters uh, go and select red and then you can reduce the saturation so it will be like less on his skin so this is with and without so that's a quick fix uh, and you can have like vibrant image without any problem. So that's it. This is how I created the hologram effect. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, and if you want to check out more content by me, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification icon. So every time I upload a new video, you will get an update. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.